Hey everyone, did you know to lose out there's an update? Uh, it's been a while since I've had one, and this is going to be the last one for this month. Uh, this will be uploaded in February, but it'll probably be the only one in February. Um, I'm going on vacation, and I'm not going to be here for about a week and a half. And then after that, I'm going to have a crap ton of schoolwork to make up, so I'm not going to have time for the layout for uh, till halfway through February. But I did get a bunch of stuff done, uh, a few things I'm going to go over. But that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. And uh, one other thing, uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am doing that now for my layout only, not, not my personal life or anything to bore you guys. But uh, it's only about my layout, sneak peeks, uh, stuff about scale trains and when they do product releases and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, feel free to follow me on that. It's a pretty cool thing I found. I found some other modelers and some other YouTube channels. So it's pretty cool. So anyway... Um, this is something I've been talking about for months, well, months, more like a year, uh, getting this kink fixed. So I finally did fix that. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But I did fix this kink, uh, just a little tiny section. And then I put nails and, or track spikes to, in, uh, in here to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I just painted this. I'm probably not going to have time to paint it, uh, no, until next month. So, uh, anyway... At least that is finished. Engines look a lot better going over. They still kink a little bit right here. I'm not sure why. To, to the eye, it looks fine. Oh, yeah, I think I kind of see it right there. But uh, anyway, it's not bad. It's nothing like it was. So anything is better than it was. Anyway, if you've watched my uh, most recent video, or my second most recent video, you've already seen this. This is all done. It's super elevated. A lot more than last time. It looks a lot better. And uh, just very happy with this. Uh, right here, some of the engines still don't like this. I'm going to have to do some more uh, nailing in here and a little more fixes. But overall, this works much better. And uh, this is also something I did. Uh, the idea behind this is I'm lazy and I didn't want to build a diamond because nobody makes a 24-inch radius 87-degree diamond. So anyway, I uh, have a few pictures I'm going to insert here, both at the same place. But uh, this is an abandoned railroad in Illinois, or my motivation anyway for this, uh, and the pictures. But uh, a railroad is completely abandoned for about 40 miles, and it's just completely intact. I'm sure the rails rusted out in a few spots. It's pretty old. Trees growing through the tracks and all that, so it's pretty old. But anyway, they uh, I'm not sure what main line it uh, crossed over, but anyway, that railroad is no longer, so they just tore out the track where, let, let's say it's the... Uh, the uh the ns they tore out the track and then the ns just went right through you know so they didn't have to maintain a diamond anymore because it wasn't being used so they just cut out the track around their property and then the whoever owns that property just you know just isn't doing anything with it so anyway uh i hope this looks okay i'd love to hear you guys um uh feedback uh, i've never seen this done before on a model train layout so I'm hoping this will be pretty cool when I'm done. I hope I can do it right and ballast it right so I can make it look abandoned, leave little ties out here. I'm not sure if I need to go back or not. That's for you guys to judge. It is pretty close. But I'll go ahead and show you the pictures here, and that'll be for you guys to judge if it needs to go back a couple ties and vice versa on the other side. Alright, so that's my motivation, or at least what I'm going for. I hope I captured that look. Let me know what you guys think. And, um, yeah, I just hope that uh, turns out well in the long run. So, anyway, moving along. Uh, that, in that industry has cars in it now. I'm not sure if I've shown that before. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I haven't talked about it yet, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, it took me about four hours when the real process only takes me about 20 minutes, so... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that a lot of time, and, um, not effort, but, uh, well, I guess there was some effort, but a lot of time and planning, because I got, and, and stress, oh my gosh, stress, stuff I can only do once and record once, well, like, please don't stutter, please don't stutter, so, anyway, that was, that was four hours of stress right there, so, oh, I gotta catch my breath, <laughs> but, um, nothing going on in here. Uh, I did paint uh, 16 more feet of track from uh, right here all the way down. Uh, 8 feet of main 1 and 8 feet of main 2. 
and then I stopped here and this is just a quick look of what your track looks like when it's painted one color and then nothing so anyway that's why I use two colors and I absolutely love how it looks I wouldn't do it any other way I just I love I love I love my track I just I love how this turns out I just absolutely love it so anyway uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen these in the layout yet or at least in the yard uh, especially that car that car's always been there until a couple days ago the local picked it up so anyway I need to phase these three cars out they are way out of era but they still work and uh, I need something to switch with that industry over there so anyway just a quick look at my rolling stock in the yard at least uh, also found out uh, one of these NS cars didn't come with a logo on the side so that was a while ago but uh, I forgot to mention that in past updates but yeah that car didn't come with a logo on that side so anyway I think it looks kinda neat kinda breaks it up a little bit you know so it's just not NS 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 you know just kinda breaks it up a little bit so I thought that was kinda pretty cool and I was like oh at the same time so anyway uh, I paired these and now I have to unpair them. It's a BLI and an Intermountain. They just I speed tabled them, but the Intermountain's too jerky. This one pushes this. So, wait, yeah, this one pushes this engine, but this one's also pulling the entire train. So this engine was getting really hot because you can't push a BLI. I mean, you can't you can't push a BLI. You just you just can't. So anyway, uh, even two Intermountains can't push that thing along. So anyway, I absolutely love BLI because of their weight. Uh, almost a it's definitely over two pounds I know that for sure it's it's a beast it's just it's just insane so anyway a little shout out to BLI but I have to unpair those I have to figure that out I know how to pair them but I don't know how to unpair them so that'll be fun still have not fixed this track yet I don't know how long I've been talking about that but uh, I did order track stops and I also ordered a uh, 7.5 switch for over here so that'll be here uh, next month, and I'll uh, I'll cut the track out. I'll lay that all in, and then we'll be able to run kind of an oval. But this will basically just serve at an, as an interchange track. If I ever get new train cars, they will <laughs> they will literally just spawn right here, like the NS came, dropped them off, and now the local going this way will pick them up. The local going that way won't do anything, but the local that goes this way will pick those up. So. Anyway, that's honestly it for over here. Uh, super excited for that. That'll just bring some new operation type uh, deals. So, And then if we're lazy, we can just run trains, you know, all the way through. Like, let's say I'm working uh, this industry right here and I'm in the way. My dad just wants to run an intermodal train around the layout. He can just go straight around me. So that'll be pretty cool. It'll give a new effect to the layout and it'll, I think it'll look really cool watching trains coming in and out of the wall here especially when this is actually a legitimate wall so anyway one more thing uh, I did uh, get my template for painting restricting ties uh, I really like how they turn out I'm not sure if the paint on the rails looks realistic but uh, I may repaint that but I did make a template here uh, let me find a tie here so let's say there's a tie there. I just stick this template I made over it, and then you see the tie, and I just a quick a two sprays of spray paint, and you know it's it's done. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the main part of this update, and uh, that is ballasting, as you guys can see here. Uh, I only got about five feet done, but um, I'm very happy with it. I like how it turned out. I gotta get some of the ballast off the top of the ties um, I was gonna take it all off but uh, my dad didn't want me to do that he says uh, when he's on the train in real life he sees a lot of ballast on top of the ties no matter how much the track is used the track is still the ballast is still gets on top of the ties so I'm not gonna remove all of it but uh, obviously the majority of the ballast uh, rattles off but uh, there's also some ballast stuck on the inside of the web of the rail that I obviously got to get out because that is not realistic at all. So, anyway, uh, I will uh, fix that later on. But uh, I used a 25% glue and 75% water. That's what Phil used, and it's it's pretty rock solid. This is about uh, I did this uh, Saturday morning, 
and it is uh, Wednesday or Tuesday night, so it's it's completely dry in some places, but uh, in a few spots it's still a little bit damp, and uh, I can still kind of push it around. So anyway, that just happens to be where it's kind of shady too, which makes no sense because that light I don't think would help it dry. But uh, anyway, it could be coincidence. I did get a lot of glue down there, so. Anyway, it's pretty rock hard. I think I might go in with a vacuum. I might not even worry about it. Um, as long as it's not like peeling off, you know, I think it's fine. So, anyway, um, other than that, that's all I have to show you guys. I'll show you guys a uh, train running over here in just a little bit. But uh, honestly, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is something I've been looking forward to for, uh, gosh, since the first time I got trains running, I wanted to start ballasting. But, uh, but uh, I just, I just, I love this. It makes me happy. It made trains a little bit noisier. Uh, I was expecting that. I'm using foam robots. So I've been spoiled with quiet trains. You know, I can't hear trains running uh, nearly at all. Um, but uh, now they are a little bit noisier, but uh, it's nothing like I hear on cork layouts. So, anyway, there's pros and cons of cork and robot. I'm not going to go into that right now. But, uh, Anyway, I'm very happy with this. I hope you guys are happy with this. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what to do different, I think I'm going to use a uh, one uh, a one in three mixture next time. We're going to see uh, how that works. So, anyway, I think I might just stay with a 2575 right now. But I think the uh, 33 and the 66 would be interesting because 5050 is just too much. It's that's overkill. But uh, I think a 3366 would be interesting so anyway i'm not gonna be ballasting for about another month uh but when i do i'll hopefully be getting all of this done at once so anyway we'll see about that uh when it comes but uh anyway that's honestly it for this update i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys uh in the next update